Round. All right, good evening. I'm David Reimer at the Texas Storm Chasers. It's 745 on the 28th of May, Friday. We've got a tornado warning now for a confirmed tornado, apparently, uh, near Rosenke on Highway 304. This is going to be a tornado warning until 815 p.m. for southwestern Fayette, southeastern Bastrop, and eastern Caldwell counties in south-central Texas. This tornado warning does include the town of Smithville, uh, Rosanke, String Prairie, Delhi, Cistern, Colony, Muldoon, West Point. And again, this is going to be for a confirmed tornado recently reported. Uh, we'll switch over to the Which Way the Wind's Blowing mode. And you can see we definitely do have a circulation showing up extremely well now from the San Antonio radar. This is going to be with a confirmed tornado near String Prairie, which isn't showing up on my little map here. Do I care? No, it's right here on Highway 304. Let's turn off the little purple box of nothingness, and you can see we've got a very good circulation right there. We'll go ahead and turn on the Telestrator. It's going to be based off the radar beam a little bit north of Community Center Road and State Highway 304. Now, keep in mind, we're looking a few thousand feet above the surface here. That does not mean Exactly where this red and green dot is, is where the tornado is at the surface. There's some tilt involved with thunderstorms, especially when you're dealing with uh, looking a few thousand feet above the surface. But a very strong couplet indicated there. We've got about 40 miles an hour heading away from the radar, 50 heading towards. So that is why we've got a short duration tornado warning. And you can see the latest scan from the weather radar has the circulation now right over Highway 304, but weaker. So in all likelihood, what we've had on occur here is a very quick tornado spin-up on the leading edge of a Boeing thunderstorm complex in southeastern Bastrop County. I do believe this tornado is going to remain southwest of Smithville if one is still, in fact, ongoing. We could see a new circulation develop for sure, but this is not a situation where we expect long-duration tornadoes or tornadoes that are going to stay down for a long period of time. See if Facebook will let me go live. I don't know why it's being a turd today, but make sure this is on. All right, so that's what we've got going on. We've got a tornado warning for southeastern Bastrop, southwestern Fayette. And eastern Caldwell counties in south central Texas until 8.15, a potential tornado that was actually reported a few minutes ago near Highway 304, a bit northwest of Community Center Road, in all likelihood. Again, we need to be a bit cautious when dealing with uh, trying to get too specific using radar data that looks a few thousand feet above the surface. So again, this is going to be a tornado warning for String Prairie, Delhi, Cistern, Togo, Colony, Muldoon, West Point, Smithville in Upton. This tornado warning does not include Lulling, does not include Lockhart, does not include Bastrop, does not include LaGrange. Tornado warnings are issued with polygons for small sections of counties. We haven't issued county-based tornado warnings since 2007. In case you're wondering how old I was in 2007, well, I still had hair. I don't have hair anymore, so it's been a while. So that's what's going on with this thunderstorm right now. The storm's moving to, off to the east at about 25 to 30 miles per hour. I will say this. It does look like we might have a new circulation developing a bit further northeast than the previous one. Uh, this one would be a bit closer to Smithville and a bit closer to Rosanke and closer to Togo. Let me go ahead. I'm going to kill some of these... So it'd be Fom to Mock at 535. This is Highway 304. You have Highway 95 coming south out of Smithville. The circulation should be just east of 305, or excuse me, 304 now, probably coming up FM 535. Now that could be a brief tornado, that could be a stronger area of damaging straight line winds. Regardless, uh, this storm has a history of producing wind damage back when it was in Austin, and it looks like this thing put a tornado down about five minutes ago, not too far away from String Prairie down 
Highway 304. So, those of you in Smithville, Rosanke to go. West Point, Muldoon, Colony, and Cistern off Highway 95 or FM 535 southwest of Smithville. You need to take your tornado safety precautions. That'll be your lowest floor, center room, away from windows. You want to put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. Uh, we want you to get as low as you can. Put on a bicycle helmet or in hard sole shoes if you have time. I do not believe this is a long track significant tornado we're dealing with, but at the same time, if we end up having a quick tornado touchdown and it ends up coming right down on your house, you're going to have problems if you're not taking safety precautions. So that's why we want folks to take the steps. We got a new radar scan here. And in addition to the potential for brief tornadoes, we are dealing with straight line winds. Those of you in Smithville, Cistern, String Prairie, to go. West Point, you're going to be dealing with straight line winds up to 70 miles per hour here over the next... <laughs> 10 to 15 minutes. We're getting damage reports out of Rosanke with this thunderstorm. So, yeah, we had a tornado reported at around 7.44 near Rona, or Rockney in southeastern Bastrop County. We've got a report of roof damage near the Red Rock General Store, and we've got reports of structural damage near Rosenke. So, uh, this thing had a tornado down, that's for sure. It may not have a tornado down now, but that's also not to say there may not be one down. Uh, but damage and straight line winds are certainly ongoing. So this storm has produced damage, and you can see we do have a circulation intensifying now east of Highway 304, a bit south of Fond du Lac at 535, generally moving east towards Highway 5 between Cistern and Smithville. So we want folks between Smithville and Cistern. Cistern's going to be where Highway 95 starts curving southeast towards the colony, or colony. You need to be in a safe place immediately. This storm has caused damage to structures over the last 15 minutes with a confirmed tornado in addition to damaging straight line winds. As we look at the uh, how hard it's raining mode, you can see it's pouring. It's going to probably have some street flooding with this storm too. It's producing extremely heavy rains. So those of you in LaGrange, you're not under a warning right now, but I would recommend you... Get ready to move to your safe place in the event this dangerous thunderstorm continues to produce tornadic activity. All right, looks like we're going to get an update to the tornado warning here in a moment. You'll see the polygon shrink. We'll go ahead and read that updated warning once it hits our systems. All right, so a tornado warning continues until 8.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time for southeastern Bastrop and southwestern Fayette counties. Caldwell County, you're clear. At 7.52 p.m., a severe thunderstorm is capable of producing a tornado near Rosenke or 11 miles southwest of Smithville, moving east at 30 miles per hour. In addition to the potential of a tornado, pink palm ball size hail damaging straight line winds up to 75 miles per hour are possible with this dangerous thunderstorm. And we do have severe storms ongoing in portions of the Permian Basin and now West Texas, in addition to the Hill Country. Keep in mind, we're focusing on the most life-threatening storms right now, and that's with this storm that did put a tornado down, causing structural damage over the last 20 minutes. So again, we've heard of some structural damage around Rosenke. We've heard of some roof damage near the Red Rock General Store. So even if we don't have a tornado down now, this thing's certainly producing damaging straight line winds over 70 miles per hour, capable of causing wind damage. It doesn't matter if it's a weak tornado or straight line winds, you need to treat them both the same. So lowest floor, center room, away from windows, put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. Smithville, you're in this tornado warning still. You need to take tornado safety precautions. Same thing goes for to go. Same thing goes for everyone from Smithville down Highway 95 to Cistern. Uh, West Point down Highway 71. This is going to be coming to pay you a visit in the next 15 minutes. 
If this thunderstorm continues on its present course, it's going to be in LaGrange at about 8.45 this evening. Uh, you can keep an eye on all the storms across the state with the interactive weather radar on our website, texasstormchasers.com slash radar. Remember, we're focusing on the most life-threatening storms right now, and that's with the tornado warning. You can see we've got a pretty good circulation showing up. This will be coming up on Highway 95 before too much longer between Cistern and Smithville. The Reds are going to be winds moving away from the weather radar in New Braunfels, about 40 miles an hour. You've got winds moving towards the radar, about 40 miles per hour. And again, if there is something down, it's likely to be completely wrapped in heavy rain and hail. You're not going to see it. It's the latest radar scan. You can see we've got a bit of inflow notch just northwest of Highway 95. I'll turn the telestrator around and point that out. It's going to be your little area of inflow. You can see this is not your typical supercell thunderstorm where we have a well-defined hook echo. This is a thunderstorm complex of sorts, a high precipitation supercell. We just so happen to have an area of rotation also. I completely forgot what I was saying. Uh, we have an area of rotation that has also developed in this supercell thunderstorm. Uh, looks like we've got tennis ball size hail falling just northeast of Pecos, Texas. And as we switch back over to the which way the wind's blowing mode, you can see we've got a pretty good circulation, but it's not your clear-cut, well-defined gate-to-gate couplet. This storm's definitely rotating, but I am not confident we're going to see a tornado warning extended. That being said, this is still a dangerous thunderstorm. You can see we've got a severe thunderstorm warning that goes all the way up from near Lexington to Giddings to LaGrange, all the way down to Interstate 10 uh, near Skullenburg. And this is for the potential of ping pong ball size hail, winds of 60 to 70 miles an hour, and yeah, we can't rule out a couple brief tornadoes. We'll go ahead and click this. LaGrange looks like this will be in town by 848, Smithville 815, uh, Giddings 8. 38. And as we switch back over to the which way the wind is blowing mode, you can see, yeah, we've got a bit of a circulation showing up southwest of Smithville, but this storm's also certainly capable of producing very heavy rain, damaging straight line winds, and perhaps hail up to the size of ping pong balls. We've got heavy rain with sub severe storms back west over Wimberley, Dripping Springs, San Marcos, Blanco up Highway 290 to Johnson City, and then west on 290 to Fredericks. Uh, Fredericksburg, by the way, it's not 290, it's technically uh, 281, but oh well. Uh, we've got other storms. These are severe, capable of producing hail up to the size of golf balls uh, from near Kerrville all the way west on, you know, tell me what highway that is, Highway 39 and high, south of Highway 41. Uh, moving towards Le Leaky and Bandera over the next 45 minutes. I do want to pop out into the Permian Basin. Sounds like we've got some hailers dropping tennis balls right now. This thunderstorm that is northeast of Pecos near Piote on Interstate 20 is dropping tennis ball to baseball size hail. You do not want to be on Interstate 20 for the next 45 minutes. This thing's dropping baseballs on Interstate 20 between Pecos and Mohanas. And this storm's moving southeast at 30 miles an hour. Could also have wind-driven baseball size hail. And we are going to keep an eye out for some... Monahan's and keep an eye out for low-level rotation. We've got a hailer southeast of Odessa. This could come and pay a visit to the south sides of Midland. The potential for golf ball size hail winds up to 60. We've got a storm capable of producing quarter size hail near McCamey. Generally should be moving east-southeast towards Highway 349 southwest of Rankin. So that's what we've got going on right now. The reason you're going to see me is the tornado warning for southeastern Bastrop and northwestern Fayette counties in south central Texas. And this is associated with a thunderstorm capable of producing damaging straight line winds and brief tornadoes. Uh, we had a brief tornado near Rosanke about 20 minutes ago that caused some structural damage. And this storm is still capable of producing damaging straight line winds, ping pong ball size hail, and very heavy rainfall. Over the next few hours, we are expecting thunderstorms potentially severe to increase in coverage and move into the San Antonio metro area, all the way from Yolvade to Sabinal to Hondo 
to Bear County, San Antonio, to Seguin, to Luling. Y'all are going to be getting out on these storms later. The potential for hail up to the size of golf balls, damaging straight line winds. Very heavy rainfall that could cause flash flooding. And of course, we can't rule out a brief tornado, but by far today, the threat is from hail, damaging straight line winds, localized flash flooding, and maybe a brief tornado or two. So I'm David Reimer with the Texas Storm Chasers. You can keep an eye on the sky with the Texas Storm Chasers Interactive Weather Radar on our website, texasstormchasers.com slash radar, and in the Texas Storm Chasers mobile app. We'll be back if necessary, but we're going to take a bit of a break for now. I'm David Reimer. Stay weather aware and keep an eye on the sky.